Forza, venite tutti a Udine per il Paris Film Festival! Um, it's my first international film festival. So this is, a, this is a great film festival because it's very intimate. Everyone is so friendly, so warm. And it seems like when people talk to you, it, see, it feels like they really, you're, you're good friends and not really... Because Rodrigo is actually like a film festival veteran. <laughs> He's been to Cannes. And he says that other film festivals, the feeling is not like this. It's not as intimate, and you don't really have time to um, to mingle, to socialize as intimately as you want. So this is great. The first time I, I entered the theater to watch uh, a, a Chinese film, um, it was great. It was the feeling was overwhelming there. <laughs> She says she's really overwhelmed festival. about uh, the uh, festival and that she's really happy and that she, she hopes that you love her more when you see her in the movie. Italy. It was a concept for a short film. I have this comedy. It's about film actors, big star actors, fighting over their names on a movie poster. You know how actors are? They want their name on top of the title or they don't want this actor beside their name. So it's a comedy and it's an ensemble cast, supposedly um, having a big big star actor, a new actor. Um, and then one of the characters is supposed to be a film extra. And since Lilia is like the representative of the nameless extras in the Philippines, I wanted her to be part of it. And she's the one who wants, who's really fighting with the producer to put, to put her name on the film poster, but of course the producer says, why would I put your name, who are you? So that's her part there. But I figured if I'm going to do the short film, it, would, it will be very expensive since I would have to pay for the talent fee of the big name actors. So I thought of just focusing on one story, one character, and the cheapest story <laughs> to make <laughs> would definitely be hers. So I did the I, I conceptualized, developed the film into a full length material and I submitted it to a film grant in the Philippines and luckily it got in. So there. Sobra ang kasayahan ko. She's practically thanking everyone that's involved in the film and that she's never, I mean, her, her being overwhelmed about the series of events just never stops. She's really happy because uh, how Antoinette was able to create her film was, uh, has only few difference from her real life. And that she's really happy that somebody made a film for her. Um, as for the script, I think 90% is scripted. 90% is faithful to the script. And the 10%, Lilia and the other actors just ad-libbed them. So... I would say that uh, I'm not when I when I made the film, I did a lot of research. I did a lot of interviews. The actors she's worked with, director she's worked with, the people in her in her neighborhood. I interviewed all of them, and they had different versions of Lilia. So, and she has a, a version of Lilia, and so I had to mix all those um, impressions into one script. And so, but all of those versions, in total, it's still it's my version of Lilia. I'm, I don't I don't know for sure which one's the real Lilia. I mean, if I'm not with her 24/7, I'm not her conscience, or right? I, I'm not I'm not her mother, so I'm not sure if she's being real or not during the times that we're filming or I'm interviewing her. So I would say I won't know for sure how much how real this Lilia that I portrayed. But what I'm sure of is that it's my, it's my version of Lilia. So I, I, whenever I'm being asked about it, I'd like to say it's my fictionalized version of Lilia. So that's why in the end credits of the film, you see there not, I credited her not Lilia as herself, but Lilia, not Lilia Kuntapay as herself, but Lilia Kuntapay as Lilia Kuntapay. So not herself, because it's a different thing if you say herself there. 
Ang masasabi ko so, lang um, tungkol kay Derek uh, Antoinette Downey. She's, she's really and happy how everything turned out and, and all the that, that and uh, she, of the she looks up to Antoinette because uh, they're everyone's really kind to her and very patient to her. And that she knows she's not that perfect and that she cannot perform as well as all yeah. the other actresses. But she's really happy that everyone's being patient to her and making her own documentary. Opo. Yun nga po ginawa ko. After the film after the uh, the film that uh, we were able to make uh, she was really she she was more happier because she received a real award in the Philippines of um, from a real festival I mean from a real award giving body. So she doesn't really know how to feel anymore. <laughs> it was a very big adjustment very painful adjustment <laughs> because my short films actually they're really very short they're just three minutes long five minutes long so you can just imagine the adjustment I had to make for making five minute short films to 90 minute full-length film and also my short films I will I usually it's it's usually about um, it had no dialogue usually my short films and this uh, full-length film it it has a lot of dialogues, so very talkative film. So it, it was a big adjustment, and also with the time, I had to quit work, my day my day job, just to focus on this. And I was really very hands-on from the production design to the hand props to the editing to the last frame. And so my editors were like telling me, "No, don't don't go here to the editing room anymore until we're finished," because I'm really very hands-on. And since um, Actually, before the film was shown, I was really, really very scared because my short films, um, they were really very successful. I received awards for my short films, and it was, I would always say it was my first love, my, the short films, it was my comfort zone. And now I'm, I'm making my first full length, and what if I fail? Because a lot of people in the my crit, my crit, uh, critic friends, they're really waiting for my first full length. Ever since 2000, ever since I graduated, I would always submit my screenplays to film grants, but I, they they won't get it until today, until the six degrees. I think it's the perfect timing. And so days before the festival, I was losing sleep because I really. Then want to fail. I would be, I would like to be as successful as a, uh, as the success I had when I was making short films. And so while I was watching the film, I was with Rodrigo. And the theater was beside him, and I couldn't watch the film entirely with all the people. I was in the um, side of the theater because I. I I had I have no idea if they're going to like it or not. She's in a Cinemalaya film. Cinemalaya is like the most popular independent film festival in the country. And so after after this festival, she will start shooting a f another film, but it's not a lead role. It's a support supporting role, but I think it's a it's a good role because it's bigger than the usual roles that she's getting because the director is an award-winning director in the Philippines. And so there for me, I'll be doing my second feature, it's a love story about first love, but uh, it's, this, the screenplay for that film was actually finished long before I started doing Six Degrees. So it's a long overdue project. And one of the, and my producer is my boss now, because um, actually she's a favorite in Udine, she's Joyce Bernal. There, I'm working for her, so I think I got all the humor from her, working with her for five, six years. And um, when we, my friend and I gave a script about a love story, young love, and she liked it. And finally, she's, she's not just now, she's not just my boss, she's not just my director, but now she's my producer also. So that's great.